For this felting project, I've put a couple of elements of the zoo and castle together that I really like. I've always liked the turnstiles at the front, the green tecton buildings. The flamingos I've added because I just think they add a splash of colour. And then I've got the castle in the background. So you can copy this design if you'd like to, but I would also like to encourage you to think of some of your own memories of the castle or bits of the castle that you really like and see if you can create something from your own imagination. The entrance to Dudley Zoo and Castle was the inspiration behind the design for this particular felting project. I started off with a green and blue base, the green for the hill and added a few clouds at the top. So I started off the project felting in the cardboard um, collar. It's really important to remember to remove the collar regularly and take your project off the base so it doesn't stick. For this one, I didn't do the um, base at the background as I did with the castle picture. So it is quite a lot looser, um, so it feels like it needs quite a lot more felting just to get that nice and firm before I continue with the detail. Because when I put it back in it's a bit it's a bit wobbly, sort of bobbles up. So I'm just going to keep felting that for a bit longer to make it nice and firm. So I was happy that my base had felted properly because when I lifted it up, up off the foam it held its shape quite nicely. And before starting to felt the detail of the gates, I've laid them out and I've created them by just um, creating little strands of the wall, bowling it together and then just placing it on. So once I'm happy with where they're positioned, I'll start felting them down. I've laid out the top bit of the entrance gates um, the green swirl but before I put the rest of the detail on I'm going to work on a grey background for this area. So it's important always to refer back to your reference photograph and have a, have a think about what is the detail that's in the background and work from the background upwards when doing felting. So now I've got the entrance gates in place I'm going to work with the white wall to create the word zoo. To make the letters is really fine detail work when you're working at this scale. So I've just got a little wrap of the white wool and wrapped it round before placing it down to felt it on. To create the little flamingos I've just got a little wrap of pink wool and just rolled it up into a ball and sort of fashioned it into a sort of a head shape. I'm not going to felt these on too tightly, I want them to be a little bit 3D, a little bit in relief. So I'm just going to do a couple of taps with the needle just to attach them to the base. But I want them to keep their shape and not to disappear. So as the castle is so tiny, I'm not really aiming for a lot of detail in this. Just a little bit of an impression of what the castle had looked like. So I'm going to put a door in and then I'll put the little path in. Which is a really tiny wrap of black to get the door in, and then I can cut that to the right size. And here's my finished little zoo felted picture. I'm quite pleased with how this one's turned out. I had quite a lot of fun with this design. There's a lot of little fiddly elements in there, but I like the way that I just made up the design from my memories of the castle and the, the bits of the castle and the zoo that I like. Um, so I'm going to challenge you to come up with your own ideas, your own designs and just have fun while you're making it.